Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Jeff Teague. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina right now. It's beautiful out, maybe about 38, 40, something like that. I hope it's nice where you are. I know it's not in other places. I'm from Michigan, I know this. Today we're gonna talk 2021 Toyota Prius. It's beautiful, right? But we got a specific question from a viewer who wants to know, when does a vehicle choose lithium ion battery? When does a vehicle choose nickel metal hydride battery? Prius 2021 uses both and here's why. If you're new to my channel, this isn't a typical auto review channel because I like to incorporate fun and laughter and hijinks and pop culture. First, I'm gonna do a thumbnail though. You know, there's a whole science to thumbnails because as you're scrolling through those videos, I have to come up with something that will interest you enough to want to watch the video. So I'm thinking something like this and it, since it's a question, I might do like that. Or I could be like, oh. Or maybe this. I don't know, we'll find out. Typically when you look at a hybrid engine, maybe it's a Prius, maybe it's a Camry hybrid or a RAV4 hybrid or a Venza, they're all gonna have a similar composition on one side the passenger side, it's gonna be the gasoline engine, and then it's gonna have the electric motor parts here. There's also the battery, the 12 volt battery, where you can charge or jump start your vehicle if you need to. In the trunk area, usually under the second row seats, that's where you're gonna find a hybrid battery pack. It's either gonna be lithium ion or nickel metal hydride. They have different compositions and makeups, but they also have different functions and different benefits and negatives so this is where you're going to find the hybrid battery it's really hard to see you really can't see much of it i just took the cover off and it's going to be located around these parts right here let me see if i can open it up just a little bit for you so you can start to see the wiring that leads to it it's going to be right in there underneath the second row the earliest battery type is nickel metal hydride that's what's going to be used in the all-wheel drive vehicles that's going to be the prius le all-wheel drive e which stands for electric or the xle awd dash e so all-wheel drive electric and the lithium ion that's what's going to be used in the front wheel drive vehicles like this one here i don't have any all-wheel drive ones probably because i'm in north carolina right now and we don't get too many of them in boston in minnesota yeah in north dakota you're probably going to get more of the all-wheel drive vehicle options at your dealership so lithium ion is the most common one that toyota uses right now but they use the nickel metal hydride for the all-wheel drive because it can withstand harsher temperature changes especially high heat or cool lithium ion doesn't hold up quite so well as nickel metal hydride does so that's why the all-wheel drive is a perfect combination because people who buy those might be using it in the cold, in the frigid temperatures, maybe in Canada or something like that, or Wisconsin. So you're gonna need harsher, I guess, protection. That's why nickel metal hydride, N-I-M-H versus L-I-I-O-N. One thing about the lithium ion, it's more common and it actually is gonna be smaller. It's gonna be lighter than nickel metal hydride, okay? And it also is able to get going just a little bit quicker because if it's lighter, it can overcome, it can power the vehicle and overcome the vehicle's inertia to get you going quicker. So those are some benefits of lithium ion versus nickel metal hydride. Nickel metal hydride is slightly cheaper right now, but the good news is, is when I started reviewing Toyotas about 15 years ago, I would find out that the hybrid battery pack replacement would be about $8,000 or more. That's crazy. No wonder people were freaking out about it. But the cost has come down right now. One of my Prius um, technicians had mentioned that the cost is give or take several hundred dollars either way, right around $3,000, $3,500 for a full replacement on the older Priuses. The cost is coming down more and more as production gets more standardized and streamlined. Although if there's a battery deficiency, I don't know what that's gonna do as far as the replacement cost. So those are some things to think about when you're talking about the different batteries. Now let's talk about the all-wheel drive system, AWD-E, all-wheel drive electric. What does that mean? Well, it means it's operating in full-time all-wheel drive 
at low speed so we can get started from a stop up to about six miles an hour. So slippery conditions or whatever, it jump starts you, okay? And then it goes in part-time all-wheel drive versus front-wheel drive. It kind of switches back and forth based on the conditions. If it's slippery and you're losing traction, it'll go to all-wheel drive up to about 43 MPH. After that 43 mile an hour threshold, once you jump past that, you're gonna be operating in full-time front wheel drive. It's gonna give you better gas mileage, and those might be times where you wouldn't need the all wheel drive quite so much, at least Prius engineers say so. There's a lot of science to it. Jeff's blinding me with science. But really it's quite simple. If you're the consumer, just know that all wheel drive really works well if it rains a lot, or it's gonna snow a lot. You can go places in your Prius that you can never go before. You can go to the mountains. You can go to the trails, the streams, the beach. Holla! I was waiting for a plane to go by before I started up. You can probably hear it a little bit, but let's walk around the Prius just so you can kind of get a feel for it. I'm gonna jump up on the hill so you can get an overhead sort of bird's eye view. And then we're gonna look inside this one this has that light gray interior. It almost looks whitish. My Diet Mountain Dew in the house. I'm gonna try to get a different angle of the interior. Here's the window sticker. If you wanna see that, I can show you. I don't know if that has to do with the video very much though, but I guess I could show it to you. And then here's what we're looking at with the interior. This has that elongated multimedia touchscreen. A lot of people love this one. It also has JBL speakers on it. And look at that shifter if you're not familiar with Prius. Look cool. Like a video game joystick. It also has the smart charge, heated seats. This is soft tech seating, by the way. And then it's got different drive modes. You can do power mode, EV mode, eco mode, or normal mode. Hello Prius. I'm gonna show the window sticker so that you can get a feel for this one. This is a Prius Limited. Its code is 1227 if you're looking to order one. Windchill Pearl with steel gray, made in Japan. Home of Toyota and Godzilla. Then we've got 52 combined, 54 in the city, 50 on the highway. Either way, it's 5-0, which is fantastic. Then we've got up here, 32650. That's the factory MSRP from the plant in Japan. And of course, you got to get it delivered to the dealerships. And then this one has some extra options to finish it off. Toyota cars do not come standard, most of them with floor mats. So we're going to add in all weather mats and the all weather cargo tray that you saw. Some paint protection along the door seams. This one will be 34658. And then we're going to go over here and look at some standard equipment here. Of course, the gasoline engine is a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine combined with electric motors, okay? It has 10 different airbags in it, so it's really protective. Then we've got Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. Got by LED headlights and LED daytime running lights, adaptive front lighting system. That's a really useful feature at night, especially when you're going around turns. Rain sensing wipers, I like it. This JBL system here, it's 11.6 inch touchscreen with 10 speakers, amplifier, boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom, boom. It's powerful, man, powerful. Apple CarPlay in the house. Then you can see the power driver seat with lumbar support, all that jazz. This one has, just so you know, a tire repair kit as opposed to a full-time spare tire. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. I encourage you all to leave an email. Go to toyotajeff.com. Leave me an email if you have a question about a specific vehicle, maybe repair or maintenance, or if you have an idea for a future video. I've been kind of short on ideas lately. I'm getting, I guess, brain freeze or mind lock or writer's block, video block. And so I need your help with some suggestions. Maybe you can tell me about a vehicle you just bought and you want to know how to use these buttons, that kind of stuff. Or maybe you're trying to decide, should I buy a 4Runner versus Tacoma? Should I buy a Highlander XLE versus Limited or a Platinum? Maybe that'll give me an idea. Some inspiration! <laughs> I need a Prius. 
I'm holding out for a Prius till the end of the night. It's gotta be strong and it's gotta be sure and it's gotta be larger than life. I need a Prius. I hope you guys know what movie that's from. Not my voice. That's not from any movie, but the movie. Come on, guys. You got this. You got this. Follow me on Instagram at Toyota Jeff one Follow me on Facebook at Toyota Jeff. I appreciate it. Follow my stories, torquenews.com slash Toyota. That's where I write all about vehicles. I'm doing a Tacoma story today. I've been writing a lot about hybrids lately because people have been asking for it. We did a Camry story, a Venza story. There's a lot going on. <laughs> so leave me your ideas, toyotajeff.com or leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time. That was a weird ending. Let's do something better. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah.